Thank you very much, Margot, Karen, and Judy, for the invitation to give remarks at the opening of this conference. Good evening, good night, good morning, good afternoon to the women in data science. I am Suzanne Weeks, as Margot has said, and I'm the Executive Director of SIAM, the Society for Industrial and Applied Mathematics. And I'm also Professor of Mathematical Sciences at WPI, Worcester Polytechnic Institute in Massachusetts, USA. I am honored and excited to be at the 2021 Women in Data Science Conference. Thank you to the WIDS directors, the staff and volunteers for all the work that you've done putting this all together. The program looks absolutely awesome and I'm looking forward to the speakers, the panels and the discussions and the workshops. And I'm gonna do my best to stay up late enough and wake up early enough so that I can take in as much of the conference as I can. Now SIAM, the Society for Industrial and Applied Mathematics, as Margot said, is an international professional society, the largest professional society dedicated to applied mathematics, computational and data sciences and modeling. We publish books, peer reviewed journals, we hold convenings and conferences, programs, webinars, among many things. And with the support of MathWorks, for example, we just held our annual high school modeling competition. Like us, like us here at the Women in Data Science Conference, we are a vibrant, warm, and diverse community of researchers, practitioners, educators, and students at all ages and stages of our careers and lives, coming from academia, business, and industry, government, and research labs. Like all of us here, at SIAM, we love analyzing, we love computing, we love interpreting and proving, and we love applications of the work that we do. I invite you to join us at SIAM and share your creativity, ingenuity, and your ideas with our wonderful global community. On the personal front, I grew up in Trinidad and Tobago in the Caribbean and came to the US as an international student over 30 years ago. Global is in my blood, and one of my passions in my career has been building academia industry interfaces and making sure that those connections are strong. For decades at WPI, we've worked with our students on research projects that come directly from industry. And for me, it has been interesting to see the evolution of the field that we now call data science or data analytics. I'd like seeing the evolution over the years and a decade or more ago to start learning from my advisees and mentees about machine learning, natural language processing, and all that other great stuff. I'd like to give a little shout out to Lilian Carasquillo, a WPI grad, who is now serving on the WIDS Education Outreach Committee. I love seeing my women out there doing so well. Well, I am so happy to be here and I toast to you as this conference begins. Salud. A votre santé, l'chaim, maisha marefu, gambe, cheers to your health. I wish you, I wish us good health. I wish us a healthy community and a good data science revolution. To me, a healthy data science community is one that embraces diversity. One that welcomes a view of the information from various angles, different vantage points, and from new perspectives. May you always have colleagues, collaborators, and friends that think differently than you, and that you can learn flexibility in your mindset and how to exist in changing environments. I hope that we recognize that there is often not just one story in front of us to recognize that though we wish to be objective, that that may never be possible. To recognize that in the tales of those graphs, there are people whose lives matter and that the story is not just in the mean. To recognize and acknowledge that there's always a story, there's already a story built in from the start in the way that data is collected and from whom it is collected and to keep that in mind. To know that the story we see is not the end of the conversation, but the beginning. 
I look forward to hearing what the panel has to say in about maybe nine hours about ethics and responsible data science, and to hear from Kalinda Griffiths as she discusses priority issues when in identifying Indigenous people in the national data in Australia's colonial context. I think that for us, for the world to be healthy, we must not also be great at STEM, but we must learn about the social sciences, humanities and arts and more. We must learn to not just ask if we're using the right techniques and algorithms, but also question why we are doing what we are doing and be open to questioning if we should even be doing it. So may we remember to question the question. I look forward to thinking more about this at the WIDS conference. For example, in the next 24 hours, we will hear a talk by Professor Abebe on social justice, equity, diversity, and inclusion, and hear her answer to the question, what roles, if any, can computing play to support and advance fundamental social change? To your health, to our health. I wish us the strength to persevere and persist in the face of obstacles and challenges, be they scientific or computing challenges, professional challenges, cultural or personal. Yet, I also wish us the ability to know when to hit pause so that we can step away to rejuvenate and refresh or press reset to go back to the start and change course and when to hit mute so we can listen to someone else whose time it is to speak or to listen to that small voice inside of us that may be our conscience to our health. May we be able to recognize and acknowledge when we have great privilege and when we hold the power and may we be secure enough to share what we have and make room for others. I look forward to the panel discussion coming up in just over an hour, I believe, about the democratization of data. And I know that we'll all learn a lot later from the talk of Professor Abu Salem of Beirut, who will talk about her work relating to the Syrian conflict, where they are using advanced machine learning techniques to improve predictions from limited data. A reminder that ready and abundant access to data is not possible everywhere where it's needed. I wish you good physical health in our own communities and around the world. Dr. Gita Manjunath of India in her keynote lecture will tell us about her team's AI-based solution to breast cancer detection and its use in hospitals today. And within the hour, Dr. Emily Fox will talk about combining machine learning and mechanistic models to improve glucose forecasting in diabetes and explore mobility and transmission in the COVID-19 pandemic. Gina Papush later on will talk about tackling disparities in healthcare, improving predictions and enabling improved outcomes. And she will connect how data science improves people's well-being, helping them stay healthy or to get back to good health. Well, to all of you wonderful women, the panelists, the speakers, the organizers and attendees. Salud a votre santé, l'chaim, maisha marefu, kambai. Cheers. May we learn a lot, enjoy the discoveries, tell the stories and do good work and do good to your health.